Hello everybody, welcome to the continuation of Kingdom Hearts. Now, I just want to make something clear. If you hear some sort of ambient noise in the background of my microphone, it's, it's because of a small fan I have. It's a one of those uh, very small clip fans that, uh, it's not very big, but it, it, it does keep me cool when I have my main fan off and I wanted to put it on because if I don't have a fan on, I'm going to become really hot because my room is insanely insulated. And especially in the summertime, it's the worst room to be in. So if you just hear some ambient noises, I apologize. It's mainly the fans, so I, there's nothing I can do about it. I try not to have any ambient noises going on outside of trains or cars being fucking uh, going by or motorcycles, you know. But anyway, just to quickly sum up what I've been doing for the past uh, day or so since I last recorded. I'm level 52. As you guys remember the last video, I was 48. A uh, couple things that has happened since then. Uh, level 49, I got my strength up. Level 50, I got max uh, hit points up or HP up. Uh, level 51, I got defense up and sliding dash, which is a pretty nifty uh, uh, technique. I don't think it's something I'm going to be using all that much, but it, it, it happens every so often where he sort of puts his keyblade on the top, pointing down onto the ground uses his body swinging and pushes forward to slide directly towards the enemy. You, you'll probably see it when I fight Riku a second time. And of course the recent level but I just got 52 also increased my HP. Uh, I also my my strength increased again. I actually got two strength increases because I used a, a power up and I used two AP, I take you use two to three AP ups uh, since we last, uh, since I last recorded. So, and I use the defense up on Sora. So, I don't think it's gonna be a big difference. But a couple things I've been thinking of while I've been uh, testing some stuff out. I apologize for that. Um, I'm gonna have to remove some stuff though. Unfortunately, that means I have gonna have to remove aerial sweep. I'm gonna also have to remove Lucky Strike. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Leaf Bracer and Arxakinem on. All right. Leaf Bracer, as the thing suggests, stops enemies from breaking cure abilities. So if I'm in the middle of trying to cure myself, and he does a stupid, powerful attack, it won't, it won't stun me where I can't do the cure. I, I'm automatically gonna be cured in the middle of a combat, which is gonna be really useful against. Riku number two, even on proud mode. I didn't try it yet, so hopefully it will work on my first time. Uh, the other thing I managed to do since then is, luckily, Donald's fucking defender shield dropped from those stupid bitches. These that, that shield that those enemies has. I, I, and you know what? It's a funny thing is because it's a very rare drop, a 0.2% drop. As soon as I got a defender shield. Not just the next time I fought one of them, they dropped another one. Like it, it was just trolling me. Like, haha, it took you so long to get this one, but now we're gonna drop another one just as easily. Uh, may, may, maybe I'm just overthinking it, uh, overthinking it, but it just felt like that, you know. Um, unfortunately, I can't get Donald's fucking wizard relic staff yet, but I did get this Violetta, and there's a problem with this though, because while it gives me incredible strength, you know, you're looking at like eight strength upgrade. The problem is, his MP drops by 2, and that's not a good thing. Donald needs his MP. As you guys can see, if it drops by 2, he, his health would be almost a little bit past his MP mark, and that's not something I want to do. The other thing I want to do here is get rid of the experience ring for now, and uh, go beast mode and put this on. I, I think that's what I wanted, right? Was it power chain? Yeah, it was this one. My MP will drop, but that's fine. I don't really care about that. This, I don't think I can do anything. My AP will drop, which I don't want, actually. My strength will drop by one if I equip this. Yeah, so, forget that for now. Uh... Sora still has an elixir, high potion, mega elixir, and an ether. Actually, I could probably get rid of the mega elixir and put another elixir because I've gotten a quite a bunch more elixirs since uh, then. So I'm gonna quickly save here. As you guys can see, that 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 was the the level I was on previously. So I kind of grinded for like five hours, kind of. 
Well, four hours. It was actually a pretty quick circuit, though. Um, I, I, I estimated how much experience I get per run for like maybe four or five minutes. 3,000 experience per run, which is immense, you know. So you think about maybe two or three runs in certain areas, you level up, sometimes maybe four or five. So it, it was pretty legit there. I, I will say that much. I'm going to save over library here because that's technically my save I last went, saved, uh, last save I went off on in terms of, you know, uh, last time I played. So... Uh, enough with this bullshit. Let's get down to the nitty gritty here and see if I can fight this dude. Uh, arrow, cure, fire. I I'm not gonna use fire, but. It's and I'm just gonna go past these heartlesses. I don't really care about any of them. So I'm hoping with the <coughs> Arcs of Kynum and. Uh, um, Leaf Bracer, I should be able to. Uh, <coughs> you know, be able to beat him. And of course, my two. Hi ah. HP ups and strength ups obviously will help out immensely as well. So let's get going here and let's see what I can do here. I'm just looking at my audacity seeing if it's picking up anything. It probably is, so it doesn't matter. Off recording, I tried attempting him a two couple times. I almost got close to killing him. I was like, oh damn, I think I found my secret technique. Nope, and I died just at the last second. I'm like, motherfucker. Sorry about that, but yeah. So, so let's see. Now, R Riku's a difficult boss fight, <laughs> even on proud mode. But then again, I'm just a scrub. I haven't played this game for so long. I don't remember all the nifty techniques. <clears throat> so, so let's go. Let's do this. I know it, I know his techniques are easily dodged though. This guy's a complete pain in my ass. Fuck off! Okay, you wanna see my power? Come on asshole, let's see what he got. If I keep moving this way, he won't hit me. because I can't fucking see what he's doing. It doesn't matter. I'm playing smarter now. Come on, asshole. Let's see what you got. Oh crap, that wasn't what I wanted to do, shit. Welcome Oblivion! Oh fuck, I just got that in time. Oh, what the fuck was I thinking there? Why would I roll back into him? I'm a complete idiot. Uh, that time I made a mistake. I went to press square and sub circle to heal. So that's kind of the idea what I have to do, though. I, I have to do something like that. Um, unfortunately, I fucked up there. 
Oh, speaking of which, I actually went back to a few different worlds and, uh, <clears throat> found a whole bunch of Dalmatians. Now all of them is pretty much here. Oh, wait, there's one in Neverland, too. Okay, so there's six here that I have to get. So that after that, I'll get all Dalmatians. I get an Aurora upgrade. <clears throat> this whole video is going to be a complete failures. But I almost had them that time. I panicked and I pressed I square instead of X, which I should have done. I always leave it on certain things, and I guess I just... I thought, okay, yeah, if I did this, I should be fine. Nope, of course not. He's a pain in the ass, Riku, on this part. As soon as he gets down to the last health bar, he's a complete douchebag. He's like one of the toughest enemies in the game. And I can't summon Tinkerbell with me, which sucks. Oh my god. Oh, what a tease. Show me your power. Useless. I don't want to show you my power like this. Let's see what we got, bitch. See that? that? That's what it was. Show me your power. Welcome Oblivion! Get the fuck out of here. I have to say in one circular motion, otherwise he'll just fuck me up. Do your jump, you piece of shit. Oh wow, what a jerk. Saving my elixir and all that stuff for later on. <clears throat> oh my god, dude. Shit. How did I get hit from that? Wow, that was close. Oh, yes. That doesn't matter, I'll take that hit. And... What the fuck, you completely missed! Oh my god. Yes! Yes, it's over, baby! Yeah! Woo! Yes! Yes, I got lucky over there. I got, I, yeah, I got lucky. There you go. Woo! That was crazy. Uh, my, my heart's pounding right there. I got the Regonaut ability. Yeah! <clears throat> nice! Alright. Whew, I'm about to level up again, actually. I think I need 2,000 more. Riku! Swearing! Swearing! Whack! Oh, the keyhole! Oh, yeah, that's right. He needs to lock the keyhole. It won't work! 
the keyhole's not finished yet. That's why, because do? because his maybe we gotta go wake Kyrie up. I think you're right. If we can free your heart, but but now a keyblade that unlocks people's hearts. I wonder. This is a bad idea, Sora. Sora? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't put yourself in darkness. No. <laughs> I like that sword, though. That sword looks fucking amazing. Sora, it just. Hold on. It just looks interesting. I don't know why. Look at it. It looks pretty cool, right? What an idiot. He sacrifices. Wait, I don't get it. Why is all their hearts going back into them? Sora never had it. Oh, I get it. By doing that with him, the hearts just goes back to where they were supposed to be. And Kyrie's heart goes back to him. And the keyhole is now reverted. Sora. theory what happened falling, though. I'm falling into darkness. I guess it really makes no difference who wields that blade. I, I I have a theory though, but I'm gonna go talk about it as soon as I get back into control here. Sora are you really No. He can't be. I won't let him go Oh god. Better get the fuck out of there. Oh, you have awakened at last, princess. Ah, uh, there's Anor. The, the keyhole is now complete. You have served your purpose, but now it's over. Do you think we can stop him all by ourselves? I don't know. Uh, impossible. No. Uh, you won't use me for this. Riku. Riku. You've got to run! The Heartless are coming! Wow. His spirit is so strong, he stops Anthar's hands up, Xehanort, from attacking Kairi. That's a, you know, the bonds are really strong. All, all he ever wanted was to free Kairi, that's it. He never really cared about anything else. And yes, people, what you're seeing now is us, Sora, the Heartless. Okay, just to quickly talk about something before I go back to the uh, uh, cut parts here. My theory on what happened is because Sora was the one who held the other Keyblade that unlocked people's hearts, he kind of released the princesses of hearts from the key... Uh, from the Keyblade that uh, Xehanort was using. It's actually Xehanort, it's not Ansem. That's the name he's just going by in this game because he's an asshole. Um, and, it and, it and the heart goes right back to their their ma their owners, meaning, you know, Bell, Cinderella, all the stuff gets the heart back. And when he and of course the heart that was locked in Sora's chest being Kyrie, I think she went by right back to her uh, body. I think that's the theory I'm going by, but because Sora did it to himself, he also gets turned into this. Now, another thing that happens later on uh, which is really cool because I like what Final Mix has done. I haven't fought him yet, but um, the main protagonist in Kingdom Hearts 2, Xemnas, is actually in Final Mix of Kingdom Hearts, which is fucking awesome because at least it shows the prelude of what happens with um, Kingdom Hearts 2. It really shows this is the complete package of Kingdom Hearts, and you know, it kind of shows the pre events that happen because what happens was he mentions during combat, you're incomplete. 
but you do look like him, meaning him being Roxas. Uh, again, it's a kind of spoiler, but if you guys have played this game already, you know who I'm talking about. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, apparently for this section, we have to control Heartless Sora. But unlike other Heartlesses, Sora doesn't go by the darkness style of the other Heartlesses. Uh, I don't know if I made that... I don't know if that, I don't know if I said that correctly. You know how the other Heartlesses attacks everyone else and try to steal other people's hearts? This Heartless is completely different. It doesn't um, lose itself in the... Um, uh, I guess you want to call it the primal state of the Heartless, where this goes to tax people. And because... You'll, you'll find out later what happens, but it's kind of interesting how things play out like that. So I'm going to uh, click on the next video, guys, for part 54, I guess. I don't know how many parts this is at the moment, but yeah. Next video.